What's up guys, Graham here. It's time to announce the winner of the last giveaway that we had last Saturday. Well, actually a Saturday before that because I missed my weekend video. I apologize guys if you're waiting on it. So sorry, I'll try to make it up to you this upcoming weekend. But the last giveaway was basically the typhoon edition and you will be able to upgrade your account to the nightmare tide where it has all the earring slots and all that good stuff you just had to leave a comment in the saturday video and leave your character name and server and hit that thumbs up button and be subscribed and all that good stuff and you would be entered into the giveaway the winner of that giveaway is bam right there Congratulations, enjoy your Typhoon Edition and all the unlocks and items that you're going to get. This week's giveaway is 5,000 credits of whatever you want from the Rift Store, so if you would like to win that prize, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server, and if you are the winner, we will send you a message on YouTube, so make sure you pay attention to your inbox. In addition to leaving your comment in the comment section below, you also have to be subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit that thumbs up button because it always helps. The winner will be announced in the next Saturday video. Good luck everyone. What's up guys? Graham here. I wanted to just give you guys an update on what all's going on. Uh, I've really been slacking lately, so to say, and you guys haven't been seeing too many videos from me lately because I've been spending a little bit of time with family and all that. After the holidays, it was just... It, it's hard to get out of that routine whenever you just want to hang out with family and uh, friends and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys don't mind, but... Hopefully we'll be turning out the videos really fast. The thing is, is I've got tons and tons of rogue footage built up, but I don't have him leveled up to level 65 yet. And what I mean by uh, footage, I mean, you know, planned stuff that I want to do, such as several builds and uh, other stuff like that, but it's all rogue related and I don't have my rogue leveled up to level 65 yet. So that is going to be a top priority right now. I am going to just boil down and level him up and get him ready to go because Physician is still super strong as a healer. You got Assassin builds that are really good, the Nightblade Assassin builds, and you know, just everything else going on with it. Uh, I've even got a Marksman build I'm wanting to show you guys that somebody gave me that I really always loved Marksman and it's true that it's not really all that powerful just yet and hopefully they'll be doing some updates to it soon but we'll see about that. But Marksman is just so much fun and I really always enjoyed playing it and I got to get back to it and uh, really boil down and, uh, and get the rogue leveled up. So, that is my game plan for this week. You will see uh, Warfront videos from me, like usual, on the Warrior stuff. But, I've got to get the, the Rogue leveled up because he's just... He's somebody... It's a character that I really enjoy playing. And Cleric is pretty fun too. But the thing is, I just feel so strong as a Cleric. It's not even fun. Uh, I go out and I don't even have any gear and I can just annihilate everybody and it's it's not that fun. I know a lot of people love steamrolling other people, but I just don't like doing it. I, I like to really feel like my skill is coming into play and I know a lot of people feel like Inquisitor is not as strong as I say it is and it can't survive as good as I say it is, but... Man, that's my feelings on it. It's just, it's so strong. I, I just don't even like playing it. And um, I thought about running Shaman and stuff, but Shaman is a very, very complex build. And it's something that you can, I mean, if you play it right, it's complex. You can, of course, play it in a face roll manner and uh, not do as well. But I like to win. Uh, and I like to uh, have skill involved in it. So Shaman would be a good class for me to play normally, but 
it would be good if you made it your main class. Whenever you're playing it as a side class, it's really hard to play it really well um, because it, it is complicated if you play it right. Um, which, I, if I'm wanting any class to be complicated or have a lot of buttons and all that, it's usually going to be my main class, so I'm not really going to try to get into real difficult builds on other characters. So that's why I haven't been playing my Cleric lately, even though he's leveled up. As far as the Mage, I really don't like in, uh, the Pyro too much. Uh, it's It seems like a, a decently balanced class. I don't have a lot of problems with Pyro, except for the amount of CC that it has. It's just, the CC is insane on Pyro, but that's the only downfall of it. I think the damage is alright. I think... Uh, I think it's all around just an alright class. I don't have too much problem with the soul build with that. So, it, there isn't much to complain about on that front, except for the amount of CCs. CCs are just stupid on it. But, I, I just don't enjoy playing Pyro too much. Um, which surprises me, because in other games I've really got into like any kind of Pyro uh, class and everything. I know whenever I played Age of Conan, I was huge into playing the Demonologist on there, which is basically a pyromancer, and man, I, I was in a top rating guild. We were down the, the latest bosses, server first, all that good stuff, but it, I don't know, I just don't enjoy it on this game that much. I know other people do, but I don't. Um, so I'm going to leave the mage alone for the most part. Uh, I'm thinking about coming up with a warlock build though. Uh, that's one of the things that I would really like to build. If you guys have a good warlock build, please share it with me. And if I use it in a video or uh, end up making a build of it, then I will definitely send you a couple of wrecks on it. And uh, I would highly appreciate it because I would love to run some warlock. It sounds like a very fun class. And people are saying it's pretty strong, so anything to get away from the flavor of the month stuff. Uh, I would even like to change up my warrior a little bit and get away from the the Paragon stuff. But Paragon Burst is really strong right now. It's it's all about the survivability, though. I mean, people are stacking too much in the the damage souls for Paragon and. It's it's not making Paragon much stronger, but it's taking away all the tankiness from it. Uh, because you want to be able to take a hit. And with the current uh, Paragon builds that most people are running, it can't take a hit. They're, uh, everybody's standing against the idea of running uh, Way of the Mountain. And Way of the Mountain reduces the damage that you take by 5%. Of course you want to run it. To me, I mean, the thing is, is a lot of people think that if you're going to run a Paragon, you got to go absolutely max DPS that you can. And yeah, there's other way buffs that you can use in order to accomplish that. But Way of the Mountain allows it to where you can actually take a hit so you can keep damaging people. And if you go with my Beastmaster build that I posted, you also get the 6% uh, damage reduction from uh, Call of Stone which that affects your entire raid so everybody can take more damage and the paragon build that i have does plenty damage trust me you are going to kill almost everybody but you can also take a little bit of a hit not as good of a hit as it used to be with the uh warlord uh, mixed in but Warlord's been nerfed, so we can't go back to that right now. And we have to really use souls that's going to benefit our maximum damage output that we're already doing. Uh, we don't really need to go into souls that's going to add a little bit more damage to it. We need to have a little bit of tankiness. And I know a lot of people have been experimenting with uh, like mixing in Void Knight and... Uh, uh, all kinds of different tank souls, you know, even uh, Paladin and stuff like that, going with the Paragon, uh, Void Knight and stuff like that. So everybody's trying to get a little bit more tankiness, and I think the Beastmaster build that I posted is a good variation of it. You know, you got you got the 61 Paragon, you're going to be blowing people up, and it's it's all you need, trust me. I'm killing everybody in the current build that I have, but it's still going back to I can't take a hit as good as I used to. So if I die in Warfronts, it's usually because I just can't take a hit anymore. 
But, you know, if I didn't have that 11% damage reduction that I currently run with, then yeah, it, it would be even more. It'd be even worse off. But, that's currently the game plan with everything. I'm going to get my rogue leveled up. Uh, going to experiment with some new builds and all that. And, uh, really try to get back to the way that I used to play. You know, try to get where I can make videos on all three, all four characters, I mean. And not just Warrior. Because right now the gear issue is, is really a pain because I'm getting enough time to basically uh, get my warrior geared out halfway decent now but if I would have been spreading myself out and gearing out all four characters there's just no way I'd be able to do it it's it's just not going to happen I, I wouldn't be able to get all my weeklies done on all four characters like I used to and yeah it, it just isn't going to happen so now that I've got my warrior decently geared out he's not he's not decked out like all these frost keeper uh geared people but he he can he can do the job now i need to start uh gearing up some other characters and i think the rogue is going to be uh top priority on that because rogue is just really strong and really fun to play and it's it's going to make good videos i know most other people that uh, do a lot of PvP and they usually go with rogue builds in the past and uh, Cleric has always been decently strong, but it's never been a class that everybody wanted to play Even whenever Inquisitor was going on uh, before 3.0 You didn't see Inquisitors running around like they do now. I mean they were super strong then too but people just wasn't playing them like they do now and uh so it's kind of a weird thing that shifted. I know Inquisitor got stronger, but it was strong before. I mean, anybody that ran Inquisitor builds before, they always talked about how you should never lose a 1v1 as an Inquisitor because you were just so strong. And uh, now it's, it's definitely that way. I mean, everywhere you go in a Warfront, you're getting debuffed from the Purge. So... Uh, getting your buff stripped I should say not debuffed but yeah it's just one of those things that everybody's kind of going with the flavor of the months right now and unfortunately I'm kind of doing it too on my Paragon but uh, I kind of wonder if I don't influence some of that uh, flavor of the month with Paragon because I pl I'm posting so much of it because whenever I was doing all Warlord stuff before it, you've seen Warlords everywhere uh, Warlord was decently strong, but it wasn't as bad as everybody says it was. I don't think so, anyway. I mean, yeah, you could take a hit and you could dish pretty good damage, but it was because you were in the front lines eating all the damage, too. You know, if you couldn't take a hit, you can't go to the front lines and you can't kill people. That's just the way the game rolls. But everybody's viewpoint seems to differ from mine, you know, I mean, but they're not agreeing on what they think either so yeah it's just the way it goes I guess but I've been rambling on I've been talking to you guys about just anything on top of my mind so I imagine this video is going to be long and drawn out and you guys won't want to hear any more after this but I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of thoughts of grim because I, I knew I missed the weekend video and I wanted to make it up to you guys by talking to you as well as uh, posting a pretty lengthy warfront that I have. It's, it's where I die several times in it, but yet I get really high kills, so it kind of works out. I mean, you know, I just can't take a hit. You know, it's not going to be Warfronts like a lot of Inquisitors are posting these days or anything like that. But, you know, they can take a hit. I can't. <laughs> so, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And please, if you have a Warlock build, please share it with me. I would love to see it. And uh, possibly put it in a video and send you a couple of wrecks over it. Because that's something that I would like to share with you guys before it gets changed in any way. Because it's apparently really strong. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And as usual, my name is Grim. And I will see you next time.